Just over 7,000 braved the cold at Ewood Park, where Blackburn faced fellow strugglers Portsmouth. Neat skills from Steve Livingston, one half of Blackburn's recent record signing, creating an early opening. Minutes later, and the other half of that record signing nearly go on the score sheet. It's Tony Dobson almost scoring at the wrong end. Blackburn's poor form this season, a mixture of injuries due to key players and defensive slip-ups. This last perfectly illustrated by the stumbles and the slips that allowed Portsmouth to take a 35-minute lead. And then Clark eventually slotting the ball home. Don Mackay's team haven't won at home since November, and the misery seems set to continue in the second half. The usually reliable Simon Garner, and then Scott Sellers missing a number of good chances. Finally, Nicky Reed had a goal disallowed 15 minutes into the half. The linesman didn't need X-ray vision this time to spot Howard Gale in an offside position. And Blackpool should have fallen further behind, but Portsmouth's poor finishing, illustrating why they're relegation candidates. And Corbett this time, and Clark. Another defeat seemed on the cards, but Blackpool finally gained the point they desperately needed on a controversial penalty two minutes from time. Referee Dermot Gallagher claiming that Steve Livingston's shot handled on the line. But the replay suggests that Graham Hogg was more hapless than deliberate. From the spot, Chris Sully equalised to give Rovers a share of the points. That point takes Blackburn up one place to 19th in the table. They've now got a four-point cushion between them and the automatic relegation spot.